So what's up guys and welcome to Ivar's Fly Workshop. Um, today we'll be tying an Icelandic pattern which is called Harpa and uh, that is as a matter of fact designed by my uncle Mr. Borgur Jónsson. Uh, remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel. It's uh, free and it's going to be remaining free. Here is the Harpa Fly. Um, originally Harpa was tied as a salmon pattern but uh, in the 70s or about, but uh, in like say late, late 70s, it was uh, developed by Mr. Burger Jonsson. Um, it was, yeah, originally tied as a salmon pattern for Icelandic salmon, but it turned out to be like an excellent pattern for, for sea trout. I'm using a bronze mallard uh, for the wing. But, but originally he was using um, a staff hair from his daughter, Harpa. We are using an RX uh, NS 118, uh, 18, uh, number 6 or 8. And I'm using like a 3.3mm uh, bead. And uh, I'm using a Nano Silk. 30 denier for this uh, fly. Uh, the nano silk is uh, from Semperfly, and uh, I will praise the Semperfly materials, of course, uh, since I'm on this uh, wonderful pro team of them. Uh, the body of the fly, we are using a mirror tensile for it, like a silver mirror tensile, and like an oval tensile uh, as a rib, and we'll begin attaching the oval tensile down to the hook shank. But um, one thing which uh, this fly does not have, that is a tail. It is not having a tail and it's, um, I'm not saying a weird, but it's uh, the, the, the build up of the fly is a little bit special. And I already pre-cutted the, um, the uh, mirror tensile from Semperfly, so I'm gonna attach that to the body. body. I have a little fishing story for you. I was fishing in, what was it, 2020? I went, it was in the COVID uh, era, while Iceland was kind of closed for tourism, so there was not many tourists who, who, who came to Iceland and uh, not many Icelandic people who traveled abroad either. So that summer there was, um, it was pretty common for Icelandic people to just travel within Iceland. And I took this fly with me and my fishing rod. I went on the road with my parents, since both of them have never done the ring road or ring road around Iceland. So uh, we stopped for two days in Akureyri up north, and uh, I bought like a half day of fly fishing in the Eyjafjarðará river, uh, the main river in Akureyri, and. Uh, I think it was on the area number three or something I bought. Didn't catch anything the first uh, hours and didn't see a fish. So the water was just absolutely dead. But on my way back, like just five minutes before finishing and packing my stuff, I took like a last few casts uh, with this fly just on the bank on the other side. And there was like a nice sea throat that hit the fly, exactly this fly. Tight as a streamer, it's um, you can tie it on a single hook as a salmon pattern, but it's very common to tie it as a on a double or treble hook. This depends on where you're, you know, fishing. I've noticed that if I place like a treble hook fly on some of the American uh, Facebook groups and some other Facebook groups, you get like a shitload of. Uh, of negative comments while you're tying it on on treble hook or even a double hook but um, in Iceland at least at the moment uh, treble hooks for salmon is pretty um, common still but I believe like in the very future there is gonna be it's gonna be less used just like anywhere else in the in the in the uh, in the world of fly fishing um, I'm using this Mallard uh, teal uh, for the throat of the fly, or for the beard of the fly, because there will be like a hackle on it, 
So it both has a beard and a hackle. So from that perspective, it's like a little bit special fly. So the length of it, you know, it depends on, you know, on your taste. I prefer to keep it like a little long like this. So we go on, on here, take touching the loose wraps. And then I tune in the length of it, like the desired length. So the tip, tips of the, of the feather are like, you know, merging about the tip of the, or the hook point. That's like about the length I, I use. You can make it longer if you, if you want. Shorter, it just depends on the taste of the, of the angler. I'm using like, uh, yeah, this nano silk uh, thread. It's like a black, black nano silk. But we, we will switch uh, to another thread at the end. Uh, for the wing of the fly, I'm using a pair of uh, those bronze mallard uh, um, teal and take them together like this. And that's the only way to to tie the wing in uh, uh, to ke keep it like dark enough because originally he was not, uh, Parker was not using um, a bronze mallard uh, for it. He, he was using uh, hair from his daughter Harpa, and that's why the name of the fly is Harpa. His daughter's name is Harpa, and she has a dark, very beautiful dark hair, or hat, or has, <laughs> and uh, he was using her like um, a piece of her hair when she was getting a haircut by her, by her mother. This is like late 70s, it's like quite long ago. Um, it's just a story behind the fly. That's by the name of it. It's Harpa. That's simply because he was using his um, daughter's hair. Uh, as an overwing, I'm using a golden pheasant crest on it. It, as I say, this uh, it does not have to be tied like perfectly or anything. It's gonna deliver. It's gonna work. Trust me, it's gonna work for. For your fishing, and I'm taking wraps, not too hard, so the overwing is supposed to lean down like it's doing a little bit, and uh, with this bead, you know, was on originally a salmon fly with a bead, but it's uh, it turned out to be like uh, like I said, like an excellent one of the very very best uh, patterns for sea trout. Just anywhere for a seed trot, you can bait this fly and, and you will have some reaction if there is a seed trot in the area. Um, so um, I'm going to switch over to a 12-0 uh, fluor orange uh, or fire orange uh, waxed uh, thread from Semperfly. Uh, the pattern of the fly and everything about it, you'll find that in the video's description. Below, and you can also find information about how to support the channel. And I will be very, yeah, pleased if you support the channel because um, if it's, uh, I mean, it's free and it's going to be remaining free for you for eternity. I'm not going to charge anything. It's just I'm just sharing my my knowledge with uh, with you guys. Um, as I mentioned. Uh, on the YouTube channel, I've been dealing with um, some health issues. Also, because of that, I've been it's not been easy weeks, and uh, February has been really bad, like a hard month for me, both physically and, and mentally. It's uh, affecting affecting both. Um, so, some financial support. I'm not begging you guys, but of course, but. You're getting <laughs> getting these videos for free. That is what, what I'm saying, and it's of course uh, it is of course like up to you. I'm not uh, pissed if you don't support the channel, but thanks to everybody who has been supporting the channel, both here in Iceland and then some really handsome support from the U.S., Texas. Thanks, everybody who has supported the channel. 
Anyways, the hackle of the fly, the fly that's like a light blue uh, feather I'm using, and I'm gonna use the hackle pliers for it, and we have to wrap it like forward. I'm using actually quite a lot of, you know, um, the stem of the fly, not the fly, but the, well, the stem, the length of the fibers I'm using is like relatively long, but uh, from my opinion, and it looks like it's a fish or the sea trot opinion too, that it has to have this blue tone in it. The fly has to have like a blue tone in it. As you see, when it, when the fly looks like this, it reminds you of maybe blue charm or something. Maybe that's the reason why it works so well. But uh, if you have less blue in it, my experience with the sea trot, it's not as effective but it's always effective, but uh, tight like this. And then we bend the hackle a little bit behind, like here. So we comb the hackle um, you know, to, towards to the back of the fly. And now we make the hat, and this is the reason why we pick the, um, pick the um, fire orange or fluor orange uh, thread. That is simply to get like a really nice, decent hotspot in the front just behind the beat, something like something like this. It depends, of course, on how, how long you want to, uh, how thick you want to be, want the hotspot to be, but I want it to be like visible, like really visible for the fish. So I tie it up as a chunk like this. And the Harpa streamer like this is ready. I love this fly. I'm I bet if you guys are fishing sea trout or Atlantic, Atlantic salmon or even trout, brown trout will go for this as well. This is just like an excellent pattern for for this um, for these uh, fish species I, I mentioned. So yeah, wish me luck dealing with my health issues I've been facing. You can, as I said, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to it, please, and, and share the video online to help the algorithm of YouTube. And support the channel, if you like. You'll find the you'll find link uh, to my PayPal in the video's descriptions, just like in any other video. So, I guess this is it for now. You have the Harpa streamer ready, and the description in the video for the... For the pattern in the video description below. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.